everyone! Hey boys and girls, how are you? So this is the look I've created today. It's a little tropical fish, great barrier reef type of moment. <laughs> and you want to see how I created it? Then just watch it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Let's prime the eyelids. So I'm going to just prime my lids with this e.l.f. camo one. Camo concealer. I haven't used this concealer yet as a base for my eyes, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll work. Blend out like butter. I'm in such a mellow mood today. I've been so pooped. I'm just chilling. Like, if anyone has seen like my first video, you saw how hyped I am. Like, I am hyped like that a lot of the time. But today, I'm just so chill, so mellow, calm. I'm just vibing. Yeah, that's that. How have you guys been today? Today, tomorrow, every day. So I'm gonna take this Be Perfect palette, my favorite one. I should use a different palette, but this one has the colors of the look that I wanna do, so. Oh, they can you see? So I'm going to start with the darkest colour first. So I'm going to go in with the shade Mood, which is this dark blue one over here. It is such a mood. I'm going to use this. What brush is this? PC22 brush for peaches and cream. So what I want to do is I want to create like a V. Um, um, I want to... Um, my brain has gone so flat. I've literally been so pooped. Like, my brain doesn't want to think, doesn't want to do nothing. It just wants to chill, groove with it. And the reason I put it in this V shape is because it's basically giving me that template of what to follow against when I blend out. I'm dying for a holiday. Oh. Let's just chill on the beach, seeing places, having nice food. One of my other passions is traveling. I need to be going somewhere all the time. I was supposed to be going away in September. That's not happening. And then November. I don't know if that's going to happen. Like, I always make sure that I make time. Especially, I love backpacking. When you travel from one side of the country to the other side of the country, it's just so exciting seeing different parts of a country. I went to China and going from somewhere like Beijing to the other side of the countryside. What was it? It's called Wuhan? Wuhan? I think it's Wuhan. Yeah. Completely, completely opposite. And it's so nice seeing how the cultures change. I've traveled to, I would say, how many countries I've been to? 27, 28? I want to see as much of the world as possible. And then when I'm an old lady, I can be like, back in my day, I went there. Been around the world, don't speak the language, but you believe that one need is planning. I'm just building that color up. Under the sea. What am I going to do next? I'm going to take the kind of make waves over here. With the PC47 brush, peaches and cream. And I'm just gonna blend this out. And when I come round the front, I want it to be very little because I'm gonna be putting greens there. Greens and yellows. There we go. It should be bad. It should be okay. done yet. Okay, so what's next? I'm gonna take this color here in the shade Showboat. I'm gonna take this Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna blend it from here. I don't wanna blend it in the front, I'm gonna be putting yellow there. So I'm gonna blend it from the middle here. Okay, so you do it like this. And then we do the other eye. La, 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 la,
think I need some sugar to hype me up. Be a little Fanta, a little Fanta fruit twist. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the color. Keen. You little Keen Bean. And I'm taking, this doesn't have a name on it. It's another Morphe brush. It came in the All I Want set. It was a brush set. I think it was called All I Want. It looks like this. It's the only one set that has this kind of brushes. And I'm gonna take it on the inside, right here. I blend it with the green because then it does lighten the green up a little bit. And I'm just I'm just gonna go slowly over and I'm gonna blend this top part of the eyeshadow. I always like having a little tiny gap between the eyeshadow and the eyebrow, so it's not just like one whole thing. It really bugs me when eyeshadow touches right to the eyebrow. I'm like, no, come back, stop it. I'm gonna go back here with that little brush. I'm not putting any pigment on the one that I went with the Make Waves color. And I'm just gonna blend these colors here in the corner. I'm not adding any more pigment. I'm just making sure that all the colors are seamlessly blended together. I better dust off the excess of that brush because I don't want too much um, pigment on the brush and I'm just going to blend the edges of this part of my eyeshadow. Like so. Don't worry too much about this part. Like I'm blending a little bit but I'm still going to go over it anyway when I have to do my concealer for my skin. One eye finished, the other eye to go. I'll never be like this. My hair is looking so raggedy. Look, I need a haircut so bad. Look at this. Out here looking all raggedy and everything. <laughs> I'm loving these colors. I'm just going to go in with that first brush that I had the dark blue color in it and I'm just I'm not putting any more pigment on it I'm just going to make sure I'm going over the edges to make sure all the pigment is still there and popping I don't want to lose any because when you blend the eyeshadow out the pigment like disintegrates That's looking popping yeah girl We love that we love that what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take back my e.l.f. concealer and I'm just going to carve mini cut crease. I'm going to take this My Kit Co 0.2 concealer brush. This takes deep concentration. Want to know what's going on in my brain? There's just fishes swimming around. <laughs> Okay, so I've taken it just like this. When I cut the crease, I literally put it a little bit above my actual crease line, otherwise it's gonna transfer. I'm gonna take this RCMA no translucent powder, I mean no color powder. <laughs> I'm gonna just take a Morphe M152 brush. all set so what i'm gonna take is the same brush that i use for make waves the pc 47 i'm gonna go back in with that make waves color that lighter blue and i'm just gonna go in and pack on that color la, 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 la. I was probably craving to do this look today. You know when you just think of a makeup look in your mind constantly, and you're just like, I have to do it. I don't have any way to go, but I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna take that same one with the dark blue with the color Mood. 
with that same bigger brush that I used in the, the first one. And I'm just going to make sure these are all blended nicely together. Okay. Next, I'm going to go back with that Morphe brush. I'm taking that same green showboat and I'm going to go with the next colour. When I place it on my eye, I just make sure I'm blending at the same time with that little blue that I have. And you can always go back and enhance that colour if you go too over it. I'm actually quite upset. Like, it's such a bomb look. And I'm sitting indoors. Like, I can't even go out and showcase it to the world. But look at my eyes. Look at it. And then last but not least, I'm going to go back in with the yellow color Keen. I'm going to just use a small PC07 brush. And I'm going to just bring it to the inner corner, just like that. So my inner corner is cute and popping. ending up with a little a little number looking like this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Morphe M508 brush it's a really fine tiny brush and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the edge of it and I'm just gonna go in with that mood shade and I'm just gonna make sure that that cut crease is more defined so is this more of like a contrast between the cut crease and the eyeshadow I'm gonna go back with that brush that I used the yellow in, in the beginning and I'm gonna just make sure that's all blended no harsh lines now so now your eyes are gonna be looking like this under the sea so what I want to do is I want to put like a little black liner really closely to the lash line. So I'm going to take this Morphe M250 brush and my Inglot 77 gel liner. I'm literally just going to draw a thin band across my eye. There we go. That's simple. I'm not going to create a wing. I'm literally just going to stop it at the end of my eye. You don't have to do the liner if you don't want to, especially if you're not confident enough with liner. If you don't want to ruin the whole look, that's okay. You can just skip the liner. I just want to add a little zhuzh. That'll do. And then let's put some mascara. I love how this came out. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, lashes. <laughs> Boo. Let's use these little chickens. I'm gonna use the same lashes I used in my previous video. Okay. The lashes are on and we're ready to finish. Okay, I'm not in the finishing. <laughs> I might just use the stroke cream. Prime the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter. So I've got this Tarte Shape Tape. I never used it. I know, it's been out for many, many years. I know, I'm late to the game. I know, I know. But the reason I've never bought it is because it's always been marketed as like a matte concealer. And I don't want a matte concealer, but you know, let's try it out. 
does it harm to try? Ooh. Smells nice. Mmm. Quite light, isn't it? What shade am I using? Light sand. That smells so nice. Oh, that dried fast. Oh my days. I guess I didn't get the memo that I have to blend it out ASAP. Bling and will you bling? Next up, let's set we sit under my eyes. It is a bit more dry under the eyes, but it's not like so mattifying that I thought it would be. So I'm just gonna set the rest of my skin. Oh, I'm into my eye. Boop, 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 my Huda Beauty. Fabulous. Let's do a little bronzing. Yeah, yeah. Gonna take my Mac Mineralize in medium tan. It's so funny because I always use it, but I still have to look at the name. I'm using my Morphe E4 brush. Just gonna lightly. And then I'm gonna take the same powder in the shade Dark Tan. Just bronze it up. Wee little killer. Stunning. And then I need blush. This concealer, to be fair, it does look really, really smooth under the eye. I like it. What blush do I want? I want to take my Stop On palette. So I'm going to mix the shade Mango Fizz and Rose together. Dab, dab, dab in both. These blushes are really, really nice because they're so finely mulled and they can be blended with each other. And then we want to bake the skin. Okay, while well, that sits, let's do my brows. So for under the eyes, I'm just going to use the same colors that I used on the top, on the bottom. I'll start with Make Waves, the lighter blue. And I'm just going to put it on the edge of my eye. I'm not going to put the darker blue because I feel like it blends perfectly with how I've blended it out here. And I'm just using this Morphe, I think it's a smudge brush. It came from that All I One set. These one. Then I'm going to go in the, with the shade Showboat. And then blend that in the middle. Make sure. And then last but not least, I'm taking the shade Keen. I'm gonna just make sure the edges are blended nicely. So I'm taking that little buffer brush, that PC47. And I'm just making sure everything is smoothly blended out. This is the original brush that I used on that lighter blue. Whew. And that's the eyes Dunsies. And then I just put a little mascara on the bottom lashes. And then let's just dust off all this powder. There we go, and I'm taking that same Scott Barnes palette and I'm gonna just take that highlighter shade as like a peachy highlighter. And I'm just gonna lightly dust it on my cheek. So you can see. A little bit on my nose. I'm gonna just spray a little Fix Plus like on my face. A little hydration. And that is the skin, Dunsies, honey. Lipstick. 
the lipstick. We're gonna use brown. So for lips, I'm gonna be using this Proline um, lip liner from Peaches and Cream. It's like this brown. Perfect. And I'm gonna take a little the small feet bare all lipstick, my go-to. My go-to new lipstick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss. So I've got this Peaches and Cream Clear Lip Gloss. I'm gonna just put a little bit on my finger. And that, boys and girls, is the finished look. And I will see you in my next video.